Little Tokyo in the heart of Los Angeles, a Pokemon fan's dream where the streets are lined with official merchandise. But we're not here to buy licensed products. We're here for the dark and twisted underbelly of the Pokemon merch world. We're here for the bootlegs. Can we make these misbegotten creatures into Pokemon art? Can we help them find a place in the world? Let's find out together. Welcome to Pewter City Gym's Bootleg Boutique. Hey Drainers, welcome back to the Boot Lab. This is a five video limited series where I create Pokemon based on some off-brand merch I bought. They're oddly colored, weirdly proportioned, but in my opinion, they still deserve some love, right? If this is your first visit, welcome. On this channel, we do a lot of Let's Play stuff, but I also have my own Fakemon region, Sola. You can see any other Fakemon I create here as well. Contest entries and what if kind of series like this one. If any of that sounds like fun to you, feel free to use a master ball on that subscribe button. Uh, using the master ball means that the bell gets rung every single time without fail after all. Use a revive on the like button to get it back into the fight real quick. And uh, cause an uproar down in the comments. I love interacting with you guys down there. And remember, you are welcome here. So our escapees still haven't been located. Uh, Ceramorph and Sub-Zero Inc. Hatched blew out these inferior quality clearance sale incubators I snagged from Gnome Co. Uh, and they've disappeared into the depths of this lab that I'm borrowing. Still, they're eating the food I put out for them and hopefully they're comfortable enough till I can figure out a proper enclosure for them. This time, I'm sure our test subject will stay put. It's a cute little bug after all. Yep, here we have the humble surskit. It's a little blueberry looking bug type based on the various water skating insects and spiders that can be found on very still ponds and other standing bodies of water. As such, they look designed for speed and buoyancy. Unlike most of these actual animals though, Surskit evolves into Mascaran, which is um, it's a moth I think? It uses its wings to mimic a Gyarados face to ward off predators. It looks a little like these moths that mimic owl eyes. Anyway, our bootlegs creations don't as yet evolve, so we don't have to worry about Mascaran. This is the toy that I'm using for the basis for the design. It's a chocolatey brown, which makes the yellow on the top look like caramel, and the eyes are uh, pretty cherry red. This led me down a pretty obvious design path. Candied fruit, specifically both chocolate covered cherries and chocolate caramel apples. Also, the poisoned apple from the tail of Snow White. Plus, chocolate covered bugs are indeed a thing. So, let's design this little guy. Honestly, it's a pretty simple design because Surskit is already just a really simple Pokemon. While I use these toys as a jumping off point for inspiration and do change things up a little, I still want the Pokemon to be somewhat recognizable. Initially, I wanted to include some spatula or whisk type shapes to its little feet, like it was going to skate around on the top of big pools of melted chocolate, uh, but nothing that I tried looked right, so I kept simple points for the end of each leg. I did give the legs a bit more of a shape to them though, rather than just keeping them as tapered tubes. I wanted them to look more insect-like, with big beefy thighs. I couldn't resist making the big antenna that Surskit normally have into a cartoony looking cherry stem. And here we have Choxic, the bad candy Pokemon. Choxic are covered in a thick, sweet coating, and as such, no one has ever seen what the body looks like underneath. It is unknown where this Pokemon originated, but it is known that wherever it appears, other Pokemon ingest its delicious but poisonous secretions and get sick. Chocolate is, of course, toxic to many creatures. Never give it to a household pet, it can literally kill them. So, let's smack things up a notch and make some art for this little critter. I wanted to present it on a bed of candy, hiding among the usual chocolates, lollipops, stuff like that. As such, I decided to use a prettier color palette for everything. 
slightly desaturated pastels, mostly warm colors to make the blues and light greens pop. I use the airbrush on the dissolve setting, or as I call it, the crayon setting. <laughs> Just kind of makes me think of drawing with big fat crayons or oil pastels with that grainy look to the lines. I wanted this piece to have big areas of flat color accented with sharp highlights, but more subtle shade. I just wanted to draw something kind of light and joyful after the, uh, the kind of creepy and cold pieces that I did for Ceramorph and Sub-Zero Inc. Uh, this piece, as a result, is a little simpler than the other two, but honestly, I had a lot of fun with it. You can see some gummy bears in there, jelly beans, a candy cane, lollipop, uh, lots of chocolate, of course. Um, yeah, you know, all my favorites. There you have it, Choxic in its natural habitat, hiding out amongst the candies. I hope you enjoyed this little trip down into the boot lab. As always, as always, it seems we have another runaway. Yeah, oh, at least I didn't break the glass this time. How did it break through the top, though? Huh. Oh, well, I guess I'll set out another bowl of poke chow and hope I can catch it at some point. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it, and I'm very much looking forward to catching you in the next one. But, till then, take care. Bye!